Okay, in this video, we're going to continue to enhance the skin. The first thing we want to do is to take the layer that we just worked on with the Spot Heal tool and duplicate it. So I'm going to right click and choose Duplicate Layer. And so now I have Skin Copy, and that's fine to leave it named like that. Well, the first thing we want to do is add a layer mask. So if you come down here and hover over this button right here, you see that it says Add Layer Mask. So with the Skin Copy layer chosen, choose Add Layer Mask. And you see you kind of get a second box right here. The next thing you want to do is add the filter. And we're going to choose Filter and this Gaussian Blur. And you know, you don't want it to look too fake. So I think right around 50 is usually pretty good. So I'm just going to leave mine at 50 and choose OK. The next thing you want to do is to choose this gradient tool. So if you click the gradient tool, you get these options up here at the top. I'm going to choose this white one right here. And I'm going to draw some lines on the model's face. And you'll see what happens. You see how it automatically started blurring? corresponding part of the picture. So I know that like actually looks a little blurry, but we're not finished yet. The next thing you want to do is to change the opacity from 100 to, we'll do ours about 50, but you may want to do yours a little differently. And you can see as I get lower, it's like no effect. And then as I get higher, it's like a lot of effect. So we're going to put ours right around 50. Okay. And we are now ready to apply, well, before we actually do that, we're going to use the eraser tool to erase the blur on the things that we want to keep sharp. So for example, the eyes, the eyes will look really good if we come in here and erase this blur. So let me choose about a hundred. You see how it just really brightens the eye. And then you can also do the eyebrow to sharpen this just a little bit. So essentially you're going to leave the blur effect on the skin, but not like the eyes, nose, and mouth. I'm going to make this brush a little bit bigger to do this. Okay, now let's do the other eye. If we had left the opacity at 100, you'd see a much bigger difference. But because we went ahead and changed it to 50, it's um it's a little more subtle. Might put it back at 100 just so you can see what it looks like. So if you're working on a picture too, go ahead and do your eyes. Let me change this to 100. All right, so you see how the eyes just really pop when that's at 100. But it looks, of course, a little fake. So we want to bring that down a little bit. We also want to make sure we use the eraser tool on the nostrils and the lips. So let me zoom in here. We'll make this a little bit bigger. I want to just sharpen that just a little bit. And then we'll do the lips. I'm going to change this to about 30. Nope, I'll make it bigger. Do 50. So you, you're taking some of that blur off the lips so that the lips stand out a little bit more as well. All right, let's zoom out. All right, cool. Her skin looks beautiful, but we do, I think, have a little bit of that blur effect on the hair. So I'm just going to use the eraser, eraser and come in here and also take some of that blur effect off the hair. It's fine to leave it on the skin, but it looks more realistic if you have your hair without the blur effect. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just this is just an exercise to show you how you can do this if you're interested. All right, beautiful. So the next thing we want to do is to merge the skin. You want to, I'm sorry, apply the layer mask onto the actual layer. So you can right click and choose apply layer mask. And there it is. 